everybody it is your girl gotta drop a diva back i am here with another video i am going to do another what i ate in a day video all right everybody so here is another what i ate in the day video so i'm gonna show you what i have for breakfast for lunch for dinner if I have any snacks in between I don't want to do too many what I ate in a day videos but if you guys do like these type of videos make sure you comment down below and let me know what you like what you would like to see me do because I do kind of need some new ideas of some different things to do um, I got some exciting news my uh, gym in the complex has been closed down I guess they've been working on it for like a month or two and then I fell and hurt my leg the other day you guys will see that video but it's getting a little bit better so hopefully i can get back out there and then i told you guys my other situation too but i just made up in my mind i'm gonna stop making the excuses and i'm just gonna have to push through because 2023 is it's it's here it's here we are here so um i'm gonna show you guys what i eat let me know if you have any questions let me know if you will have any suggestions and i will be back all right, let's get started with breakfast. We're gonna have some protein oatmeal. So you need oatmeal, almond milk. I'm using my Bariatric Pal collagen powder, some Justice peanut butter, and some cinnamon dust. So first I'm gonna start off with one, actually a half a scoop of oatmeal. That's about all I can eat. Next I'm gonna add one scoop of the collagen powder to the top of the oatmeal. And it is bariatric power. I'm going to leave a link so you can get 15% off your first purchase. There is some almond milk. I added a half a cup, but then I went back and added another half. Here you see me adding it to the microwave. I only put it in the microwave for about two minutes and let it cook. And this is what it looks like. I topped it with one teaspoon of peanut butter. It makes it so rich and so creamy. And then um, you can add other toppings, bananas, whatever you would like to add. I'm going to add some of that cinnamon toast crunch uh, dust to the top. And sweeten it to your liking. And there, there it is. It has that nice consistency. I don't like my oatmeal too runny. All right, everyone, the oatmeal is done. I almost dropped it all. So let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how it tastes. OMG, this is actually really good. It's rich and creamy, just like I said. If you try it, definitely comment down below and let me know if you try it. I haven't had oatmeal in so long, and this is just so good. I didn't want to stop eating it. Definitely has a good flavor, and it's filling. All right, guys, as you can see, I ate all of my breakfast. It was so delicious and super filling, like it kept me full. All right, guys, so I need some more coffee. I stopped for early at Wawa's, got some coffee. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, so I'm about to order me a coffee drink. Uh, no problem. Um, may I have three shots of blonde espresso in a venti cup of ice? You said three shots? Yes. Three shots of blonde espresso and a venti cup of ice. With two pumps of sugar cookie syrup. Two pumps of sugar cookie, okay. With almond milk. Two pumps of almond milk. Okay, and then you said you wanted three shots of blonde espresso and a venti cup of ice. Yes. Okay, and then you said you wanted three shots of blonde espresso. You know what? Do soy. I'm sorry. No worries. Easy fix. Anything else for you? And then can they do a light caramel drizzle as well? Of course. And that'll be all. That's it for you? Yes. All right. I'll see you for $5 even. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Here's what my drink looks like. I'm headed to pick up an order. So, again, it is... It's a little better. It's pretty much what I ordered yesterday, but they have the little label on there. So screenshot that if you need it. I did um, only two pumps of the sugar cookie syrup because yesterday it was a little sweet. 
I don't know why it drives me crazy when they don't fill it up with milk, but what they told me is um, the way I order it is the cheap way because you see I only pay like $5 and most places I go, I only pay $4.65. These are probably the cheapest drinks you're going to ever get at Starbucks and everything else, $8. But um, they told me when they fill it up all the way, it turns into a latte, but as long as I do the espresso shots with the milk in there, it's not considered a latte. Thank me later. I probably should have did the third shot of sugar, but I'll be all right. I used to keep um, some stevia, liquid stevia in my car. I'm definitely gonna have to buy some more and keep it in here because sometimes my drinks be hit or miss. I didn't do the third pump of sugar, which is usually vanilla, only because um, I did the caramel drizzle and I don't want it to be overkill because the sugar cookie is already sweet and it's no, it's not sugar free. So this is how I still keep my carbs pretty low. Okay, it tastes better once I mixed it up. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this iced coffee. Ask me why I buy all these cups from Starbucks. I have yet to use one of them. I use these plastic cups all the time, but I'm waiting. I'm gonna do a cup reveal of all my cups soon, so I'm still hunting for a few more. But yeah, let me head to pick up this order and I'll be back at some point. I'm not hungry today. That oatmeal protein really, really did the job on filling me up and I haven't ate oatmeal in a long time, so that was good because I'm kind of getting wore out with protein shakes every day, so that was good. All right, here is a chicken teriyaki bowl I'm having for lunch from Panda, not Panda, Panera. So it's just some rice, some chicken, broccoli, and guess I was pretty hungry because I pretty much ate it all. My dog ate a few pieces. All right, it's now dinner time. This is going to be a made-up meal, guys. I had no idea where I was going with this meal. All I know is I'm working with what I have. I'm trying to clear out my freezer. So first, I'm going to start off. I have some ground chicken. And I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And as of now, I still don't really <laughs> know what I'm making. I know it's some form of taco, but I was determined I was not going to the grocery store and buying anything. I'm going to work with what I have. I'm trying to clear out my freezer and cabinets. Um, I buy way too much stuff and let it expire and it's getting out of control. So, yeah, I'm going to work with what I have until I go shopping. This is some heart of palm rice that I bought from Aldi's a while ago. I've seen it in some other stores like Sprouts and yeah, I just need to get rid of it. So with the heart of palm rice, you do want to rinse it off. It has this like weird smell. It tastes pretty good, but it has a weird smell when you open up the package. If you've had it, you know what I'm talking about. But I always rinse mine off and um, let it set it aside and let it drain for a while before I start cooking it because it holds a lot of water, um, just like the zucchini noodles and spinach. But yeah, there you see me just trying to rinse it as best I can. And it's actually pretty good. You do just want to make sure you cook it and heavily season it. It um, absorbs whatever you cook. So there you see the ground chicken is pretty much browned up. I did go and add in some diced up green pepper and onions inside and i'm just letting it continue to cook down so the green pepper and onions can get a little bit sauteed once this is done cooking up it just looks so good i found this chipotle taco seasoning at walmart so i want to give it a try i've never used it before at all um, and then I decided to go ahead and add the heart of palm rice in the mixture as well instead of leave, leaving the rice on the side. So I'm mixing everything up. It's almost like my own hamburger helper um, type of deal going on. So I put a little bit of water in there with the taco seasoning as well. And I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit. All right, everything is basically done. I really freestyled this meal, guys, but... It turned out really, really good. So there you're going to see me add some of that ground chicken and rice, uh, heart of palm rice combination.
and I'm not going to add a whole, whole lot. So basically, as you can tell, I am making some sort of bowl. And it turned out pretty good for me working with what I had. And then I had some black beans on hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and top it with some of the black beans that I had. Not too many. I'm trying to keep it low carb as possible. But I do want some beans on there. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. All right, and then once I finish adding the black beans, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the rest of my toppings. So I'm going to put some cheese on there. I put some jalapeno peppers. There's the sour cream. And then I diced up some avocado slices and I put some salsa on top. And there is the finished result. Guys, this turned out way better than I could have even expected. All right, everybody, so this concludes my what I ate in a day video. I'm proud of myself. I feel like I did really good today. This is what I have left from dinner. My puppy's probably going to eat that. Um, but, yeah, this concludes my what I ate in a day. Let me know down below what you guys think and what you would like to see next. Mwah.